moved from LA to New York in March, technically. I love New York. I, I always have. It's my favorite city. It's just a very spontaneous city. I still think New York is a place where there's a lot of cultures that come here and they merge into something that's quite unique. And I've never seen a city that just embraces so many cultures. I mean, there's lots of things that are just so different, like tomatoes in New York are like a different fruit than tomatoes in LA. It's completely different. I actually really enjoy the challenge where it's like, great, now this isn't good, figure out something else that's, that you can do. I'm making a bowl of pumpkin. Uh, it's roasted with mulling spices uh, with a soured apple cider and bacon. We're pumpkin spicing a pumpkin. And the apple cider is the main part of the dish. It's just apple juice. It takes 10 quarts to get one quart. So it's really, really, really reduced and concentrated and it's kind of tart and uh, really kind of silky and buttery. and that mixed with the pumpkin and everything. It's just like a very comforting bowl. Because the dish is so small on the menu, it has to have so, like be very intense, because um, it's one to two bites. So if it was just kind of like, eh, it, no one's gonna care. You know, I, I really went off of Flynn's first course. I think that was the thing. As a, as a chef, you try and go through a progression of the meal based on your palate. And, and for me, that was just the key to jump right into something that had a little bit more fat to it. Um, something that just really says fall in a, in a big way. And I was like, wow. That it's, it's time, it's time to serve duck. When I start thinking of fall, it's duck season, and um, it's, uh, it's now mid-October, and we're gonna do a lacquered duck. We poach the duck in honey, uh, and then roast it off until the skin's very crispy and very black on the outside. Uh, you gotta have a lot of herbs, you gotta have a little bit of butter, um, so that butter really browns and toasts around the duck. And then uh, we've got uh, some escarole that we cleaned. Uh, we're gonna uh, toss that with some Calabrian chili and uh, some uh, fish sauce that's made in Italy, some uh, fennel seed, uh, a few other ingredients that go in there, uh, garlic, chilies, etc. Um, and then we um, pureed a bunch of persimmon, which is a really uh, amazing fruit that I love this time of the year. So it's like it's got a little uh, savory quality to it uh, that I think is pretty great to have with something as uh, fatty and sweet as uh, lacquered duck. So it should be cool. Should be a good dish tonight. I live by the, the creed, um, you know, perfection is achieved not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. I'm always thinking of the elements that are going on the plate and how do they speak to each other and, and what's the, the least common denominator? How can I pull it down to the least amount of ingredients and still say the most with it? Because uh, I think it takes a lot to remove items from a plate um, and still let the flavor speak to itself. Uh, seeing what the other guys cooked uh, made us choose this because Concord Grapes October is kind of like we're all, like, all the cooks are waiting for that moment to happen to get fresh conquer grapes, yeah, for sure. Uh, so we chose this dish for tonight. Uh, I think it just represents uh, what we do at the restaurant. Uh, has a lot of seasonal flavors and a lot of textures. So uh, we're doing a dessert of, uh, it's a milk mousse uh, with a caramelized verjou. The milk mousse is infused with vanilla, so it has that sort of like Sunday quality tastes like being a kid. Basically, this is about four cases of grapes. Uh, we just juice them. Uh, basically, we freeze it into a big block, and with one of these ice scrapers, we just uh, scrape it to this, like, sort of crystals. I just think that grapes and milk go really nicely together because it's, the milk is, like, sweet and creamy, and then grapes are really acidic, but it has, like, that woody taste. That, for me, just kind of goes really nicely with dairy. It's a lot of layers. Um, and then you just need a spoon to sort of dig in and find all these uh, different textures. Sweet. Oh, snap. Yeah. yeah. It is dessert. My pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. This is awesome. Architecture, interior design are two things that to me really speak uh, to me. I think being able to put together an experience for a guest is, is part of what we do as chefs. It's, it's more than just the flavor of the food on the plate. It has to do with the feeling of the guests when they walk in the, the room itself. Um, the ability to communicate all of that through warmth is, uh, is more than just the sum of the parts on the plate. <laughs>